Central Bank Programmable Digital Currency, CBDC, and Tyranny to Implement the Great Reset. March 30th, 2023, Peter Koenig from Global Research writes, it's time for we the people all over the world to come to our senses and realize the dictatorial measures that are just a short way from being implemented. By then, most of the Great Reset Agenda 2030 will have been reached, achieved, and once that happens, it will be hard to escape it. Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDC, the weaponization, the weaponization of money, WHO's health tyranny and towards the totalitarian world government, no way. So two kinds of absolute controls are being prepared for the implementation of the Great Reset, also known as UN Agenda 2030, a potentially straitjacket absolute control by the central bank programmable digital currency, T CBDCs, and an omnipotent health tyranny by WHO overriding national constitutional rights and national sovereignty, sovereignty over health measures. The first will be managed, coordinated, and supervised for its flawless implementation, so-called Central Bank of Central Banks, the Bank of International Sell Settlements, BIS, the second by named a WHO organization created in 1948 by Rockefeller UN Agency. The emerging budget is 80% from a cuticle, Gates and otherwise privately funded, and both are uh, organizations that are iffy. And these are plans that have not yet materialized, but the world had better beware so we the people can stop this terrifying attack on humanity on its, in its infancy. CBDC may come to us, humanity sooner rather than later. Programmable CBDC is a uh, weapon of mass destruction, he says. This weapon has been in the works for decades and fits perfectly into the bigger picture of the Great Reset Agenda 2030. Programmable means that the money can be programmed as to how it should be spent by a person, or it would be blocked, or even expired, or used for specific goods or services, or it can be withheld entirely, or eliminated, depending on how well behaved by the standards of the all-powerful elite people are. CBDC is a major control, a straight held hold on the population. At the same time, the WHO is prepared, preparing a health tyranny that controls everything. The plan calls for the new comprehensive rules, the revised International Health Regulation, IHR, launched by the Biden administration, including a new pandemic treaty to be ratified by the World Health Assembly, possibly by the end of May 2023. If adopted, with two-thirds majority, the new rules will comply, will come into force in 2024. Tyranny and health control by the WHO? The elite who pretend to rule humanity operate more silently than the shadows. It includes the financial giants, the biggest founders, funders of the World Economic Forum, WEF, the uh, children of Davos. The financial elite decide on the comprehensive and willing plans of Klaus Schwab, the managing director of WEF. In turn, Schwab is passing on instructions to the World Health Organization, the WHO, for example, to redesign and implement the revision of the WHO, which now includes a pandemic treaty. First, Bill Gates, also one of the main sponsors of WHO, puts an obscure Ethiopian politician, Tedros Ghebreyesus, at the helm of WHO. Tedros, a friend of Bill Gates, is the former director general of the Gavi Vax Alliance, also created and funded by the Gates Foundation, so much so that the WHO is a UN agency. If these new DHA pandemic conditions are approved by the World Health Assembly at the end of May 2023, the world, currently 194 WHO members, will live under a tyranny of health, quote unquote. The WHO will have superpowers over otherwise autonomous countries, be able to override national constitutions, and decide whether a disease should be treated as a pandemic, hence by mass vaccination. For example, the WHO could decide that from now on, the common flu sh should be treated as a pandemic. Once it is COVID, any vaccination will be of mRNA type that modifies the genes. The same viral technology that has with COVID vaccinations already uh, caused uh, contra controversy. Of course, it's not openly acknowledged and the statistics on uh, 
all these uh, uh, adverse effects, especially in the Western world. The global north speak for themselves. They are in line with countries' vaccination rates. People have no idea that when the next time they'll go for uh, the younger generation, the children, ch ch child vaccines against polio or measles, their child would be inoculated with a potentially a toxic solution of mRNA. Now, complete obedience to ensure country's total obedience, Klaus Schwab boasted many times that the WF is infiltrating the governments of the world with fellows of the WF's Acad Academy for Young Global Leaders, YGL. They're often placed in positions of prime ministers or presidents, to name just a few, the most prominent Justin Trudeau of Canada, Emmanuel Macron of France, Mark Root of the Netherlands, former Ger uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, as well as Olaf Scholz, the current Chancellor of Germany. Central Bank Dig Digital Currency, CBDC, welcome to the new money prison. The decision to introduce CBDCs at warp speed was made at Jackson Hole, Wyoming, August 2019 meeting of the central bankers of G7 countries. They voted an economic coup that was going direct reset. And this is being planned from afar for at least the last 20 years and now had to be consolidated for the first final stage of total and absolute financial control. The end game of the uh, coming global tyranny is the being implemented first global north where the impact will be greatest and watch you can watch a minute uh, one minute video from Catherine Austin in the article. Now this is the weaponization of money into programmable and controllable CBDC. The rest of the world will follow this example and that's what they believe. The destruction of the industrialized world is the first. Germany is supposed to lead the deindustrialization of Europe which will be caused by artificial induced energy deficiency. Next comes total control of the world's natural resources so that the reconstruction of the system with a drastically reduced world population can proceed fairly quickly. The US NATO proxy war in Ukraine against Russia is a precursor to Russian dominance and its natural resource wealth. Governments and bankers are the biggest, most vicious, but least recognized enemies of the people. So how much longer until the majority of the people wake up and stop this uh, crime against humanity? According to Catherine Austin Fitz, the introduction of CBDC could put half a billion people out of work. This is only part of the war and it's closely related to the pandemic. People did not, not uh, succumb to COVID. Most per perished from other things. Dr. Michael Yeadon, former Vice President Chief Scientist of Pfizer, repeatedly said in interviews, speeches, that the real potentially mass deaths will take place after three and up to 10 years after the start of VAX. Now today, truth seekers, scientists, and doctors say, don't get involved with this. Now, how about money or weaponization by money? A triple tyranny, the triad is underway. The WEF and its giant behind the scenes financiers, governments and bankers, through a network of national central banks controlled by the Bank of International Settlements in Basel, Switzerland. The health industry, big pharma, health facilities and hospitals, and insurance companies are towing the line with digitized health records and digitized health services. The G7's 2019 Jackson Hole decision on massive bank failures that will bring about CBDC started in early March 2023 on a relatively light note in the United States, and the opening was the apparent collapse of California Silicon Bank, SVB, California Silvergate Capital, and New York Signature Bank, None of them really needed to file for bankruptcy. They were rescued by the Biden administration, which was placed under control of regulatory authority before the bankruptcy rumors could cause a run on the banks. Uh, now, we know how rumors can be manufactured or reinforced and how they can mobilize people. On the other side of the Atlantic, Credit Suisse, Switzerland's second largest bank, has been dodging for the past two decades by a succession of scandals and financial irregularities, including uh, drug laund money laundering and helping Russian oligarchs avoid Western sanctions, disappearing documents linking them to their luxury yachts, which are supposed to be confiscated, things like that. 
Since the beginning of this year, the bank's share value has plummeted, first by the week and then by the day. For a full list of financial scandals, you can see here in the link. And much of the loss of confidence was again based on rumors, and rumors can be spread true or false. There was never a need to put CS into service ship. The bank, according to that's Credit Suisse, into certain receivership, the bank, according to many analysts, as well as FINMA, the Swiss Banking Regulatory Authority, was solvent, especially after Credit Suisse allegedly received on Friday, March 17, a 50 billion franc resource loan from the Swiss Central Bank. According to insiders, Credit Suisse and now analysts and outsiders, this amount of cash would be enough to restructure the bank, including quietly getting rid of unwanted skeletons regaining the trust of people and shareholders and reopening it in less than a year. But there may be another agenda to the sudden change in direction over the weekend of March 1819. Janet Yellen, U.S. Treasury Secretary, senior officials of the British and German financial ministries were in consultation with the Swiss uh, finance minister. External pressures again chipped away at Swiss dominance politically and in terms of renowned Swiss private banking services. And what happened then is the complete opposite of what should have been achieved with the rescue of 50 billion. One might wonder, was the government bailout of 50 billion Swiss francs just a cover-up? And in apparent sudden change of direction, the Swiss government without any consultation with shareholders and bondholders worth some 16 billion Swiss francs forced UBS Switzerland's largest bank to buy out its slightly smaller sister, Credit Suisse. Even more strangely, this happened with the implementation of an obscure emergency decree. Credit Suisse has never been in any insolvency emergency. Credit Suisse shareholders had to accept the buyout price of 3 billion Swiss francs, about 0.76 Swiss francs per share, less than half of its last stock market value. The bank's infrastructure alone is worth many times the acquisition price, on Sunday, March 19, Swiss regulator FINMA announced that around 16, 16 billion Swiss francs worth of so-called additional Tier 1 A bond, AT1 bonds would be written off as part of the deal. Neither shareholders nor bondholders were warned about this. This rushed, forced agreement did not go down well in Europe. A famous law professor at the Swiss University of Fribourg, who uh, specializes in legal science, called Switzerland the Banana Republic. The conservative Swiss newspaper reported that a few months ago, no one would have believed that the fall of Credit Suisse was possible. In 2007, the value of Credit Suisse shares exceeded 100 billion Swiss francs. It was gradually reduced to 7 billion, less than a week before the planned takeover. The paper conclude, concludes that Switzerland got rid of a zombie bank, but got a monster bank instead, and after the merger, UBS will have approximately $5 trillion uh, Swiss francs in assets under management, compared to the Black Rock's roughly $10 trillion. Instead of a bailout of $50 billion, which would have to be repaid, the New Deal cost Switzerland about $230 billion. Now, incidentally, the Swiss Central Bank on March 5th announced one of the biggest losses in its recent history, amounting to $132.5 billion Swiss francs, adding to that potential loss of another 100 to 200 billion Swiss francs, and it makes you think what else is being planned to eliminate this debt. The major the shareholders of Credit Suisse may start a clash action suit against the Swiss government. Now it looks like and smells like it was all designed by longhand. Remember the G7 central bankers meeting Jackson Hole, Wyoming in 2019? The Financial Times and Forbes reported that there are approximately 200 small and medium-sized U.S. banks on the brink of collapse. The collapse of Credit Suisse, one of the world's 30 systematic important banks, also one of the two big-to-fail banks bailed out by the Swiss government, may be the start of a massive domino effect of bank failures in the U.S. and Europe. BlackRock's Vice President of Investments, Philip Hildebrand, is a former president of the Swiss National Bank. He was forced out in 2016 due to a personal scandal. He then joined BlackRock. He knows how the wheels turn in Switzerland. The Biden administration's rule of order ignores the 2010 Dodd-Frank Act, 
which repealed government bailouts and opened the door to bail-ins, allowing banks to seize creditor money and convert it into equity. If this government bailout policy continues, an unprecedented public debt will accumulate. The same may be true of Europe, potentially accumulating hundreds of trillions in national debt on both sides of the Atlantic. This would be the perfect time to immediately introduce central bank programmable digital currency, CBDCs, to the Western world, USA, UK, Canada, Europe, but also Japan and Australia. The combined GDP of these countries for 2022 is about $50 trillion, almost half of the global GDP in 2022, which was a total of $103.86 trillion, according to World Bank data. Within a short period of time, the debt of the Western economy based on the US dollar could be wiped out in one fell swoop with a new kind of money, CBDC, and another stroke, stroke, the entire ignorant Western population could be doubly constrained by the WHO health tyranny as well as by programmable CBDC. So it's time for we the people to all over the world to come to our senses and realize the measures that are just waiting to be implemented are actually dictatorial. By then, most of the Great Reset Agenda 2030 will have been achieved, and once it happens, it will be hard to escape. escape. And uh, this is uh, translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.